About a 90-minute drive from Timmins and in Metogamy First Nation territory is where you'll find the ideal location for firing off experimental rockets built by students. The nonprofit organization called Launch Canada says this is the only place in the country that's permitted experimental rocket launching to take place. We have municipal, provincial and federal support to do this. I think there's really a vision for Canada to develop this aerospace industry and it starts with our students, whether university or high school. And right now the high school students in Timmins and Metogamy have been top notch and are really building the future of this industry. More than 400 students are participating, including some from Timmins and there are teams from about a dozen Canadian universities, including Carleton, Alberta and Saskatchewan. The McGill rocket team is just about to raise its experimental hybrid rocket, which has taken tens of thousands of work hours to build. And it's a rare moment because it takes many steps of testing to get to this point, and very few Canadian universities even make it here. But Launch Canada says there is a huge need for more rocket scientists, and this challenge is an opportunity to motivate more youths to consider rocketry as a career. There are now multiple rocket companies in Canada on a race to build the first Canadian rocket to go to orbit because as we build our country and make one Canada strong, we need to have our own access to space. This is the fourth year science Timmins has brought a contingent. You should see their faces when their rockets go up. It's just pure joy to see them excitement and everybody's clapping. Oh, there's lots of spectators here. Everybody claps when it's a good launch. And even if it's not a good launch, it doesn't matter. We had one small one, one small failure this morning, but no big deal. It's you learn something when something fails. We just built it from a kit. Um, so we got step by step instructions on how to build everything. Um, and then we got, put our motors in today and now they're ready to go. Three, two, one. Even though LaPointe says she wants to be an orthopedic surgeon, she says learning about rocketry teaches her how to be more innovative. Lydia Chubak, CTV News, Metogamy First Nation.